Aloha. Welcome to our space station. My name is Tiki C. For this video series, my goal is to convert at least 50 blueprints on the Steam Workshop for use in space. I'm looking for player-made space bases or capital vessels that I can convert into points of interest or orbital patrol vessels. These conversions could be derelict space stations, debris from space battles, or maybe hostile bases or ships that shoot at you. As of today, there are over 118,000 Steam Workshop blueprints for Empyrean. We need more POIs and ships in the game. Let's convert them. More conversions means more variety in the game, which means more fun for us. The conversion rules are right here, so feel free to pause and take a look. Okay, let's get started. I have searched through the most popular blueprints of all time on the Steam Workshop, and I found some to convert today. Conversions are being done in a vanilla creative game, so converted blueprints should be universally compatible with scenarios. You will see a time-lapse video as I take a quick tour of each, add or remove devices and blocks, add some damage and debris, save and celebrate. Today, our blueprints to convert are the Kedge HFCV Vanilla by Bone Dog. You can find Bone Dog in the Anvil Discord. Bone Dog is an active member of the Builders community. We're going to convert this ship to an orbital patrol vessel and a patrol vessel that operates in a planet's atmosphere. The other blueprint that we're going to convert is the Noxos Station D by Doc. The original Noxos Station was developed by Elnar. The variant that we're going to work on today was posted by Doc. This is going to be converted into a hostile POI with spawners, sentries, and maybe some hidden treasure. We also have a guest appearance on the conversion crew today, a modified version of the Wayfarer by Ent. Links to these blueprints can be found in the description below. Thank you to all of the authors for their artistic works and their contributions to the community. A special thank you goes out to Elion for the Empyrean Galactic Survival Game. And to all of the scenario authors, thank you for creating new ways for all of us to enjoy this game. Are you ready? Here we go.
We are all done converting this to both an orbital patrol vessel and a planetary patrol vessel. Uh, a pretty simple. I love this design, so I need to uh, start by saying very cool design, Bone Dog. Um, I, I like this this truss work you've got going around these um, the containers. Uh, but yeah, very cool, very nice. So I'm looking forward to seeing this in the game uh, shooting at me because it has an NPC core in it. I replaced some of the guns uh, with Xerox guns. So the story is the Xerox assaulted this. It, there's some light light damage. They took it over, and now it's theirs, and they have some of their technology in here and some of their treasure. So the player will find things like sentries shooting at them, guarding treasure spots. Uh, the garden is planted. And there are yeah, more spawners and sentries throughout the ship. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this again and taking it over. It's going to be tough because it has a lot of guns on it, both Xerox and human. So looking forward to that. Actually, why don't we take a look at it in game? That was fun. It's always fun testing these in game. I did learn that I have to replace these CV turrets for the atmospheric version because they don't fire in the atmosphere. Otherwise, I'll just make that modification after the video here and save the PV version of that. But the OPV version is good, so that tests out great. Next, let's convert the Noxos station into a POI.
Okay, we are done with the conversion of Noxo Station D. So the story is that the Xerax uh, assaulted and took over this station as well, installed their own technology and their own crew and defenses and treasure here. So uh, it's for starters, it, great design. Love this. I love the conversion and the original. So hats off to both the designers there. Uh, so you'll see a lot of uh, general overall damage here from the assault. These blocks will be damaged when they spawn in the game. And you come in and you got to fight off these defenses and uh, get to one of these elevators. And then, not too many spoilers, but uh, to get down the elevator and then the general courtyard, there's some fighting down here with the spawners and the sentries. You'll eventually have to find your way into the engineering room. The door is locked with a code, and the code is hidden somewhere, unless you watch the whole video. So you just gotta go find that code, open the door, and get to the core, and uh, win. So um, yeah, so a lot of fun to convert this. Um, I really enjoyed this shooting, this firing range. So if you go in here and you flip this switch, there is a timer that sets off these targets. So you can flip the switch and you can wait for the targets to flip up and uh, yeah, it's, it's a fully functioning little, uh, little firing range there. So it was very cool. Um, I should save it off and then have people turn it on. Anyways, yeah, so these little targets pop up. Very cool logic. I like that. I've never seen that yet in a, in a POI. So very neat. All right, get back into God mode. And I'm uh, going to save this and we're gonna spawn it in the game and test it out. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, and it tests out pretty good. Some things I got to fix off camera, but that's pretty fun. I like that. So uh, yeah, great design, um, great fun converting that blueprint. So we are done for today. I've converted two more for a total of seven blueprints converted. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Have a great day.